Yo, what's up everyone? So we're trying to recreate an orange and teal color grade for this one. This image right here that I took, we're trying to recreate the orange and teal tones a lot like, say, Johnny Elder, who's very popular and a lot of other people use a color grade similar to this. So you guys, go give them a follow down in the description because we're going to be creating a lot of content together. We might be doing all sorts of color grades or just a lot more orange and teal like this. So go down in the description. Give them a follow down there and let's get into Lightroom and do something like this. All right, so first thing I'll do is profile corrections to get rid of that vignetting. Chuck up the exposure. Okay, so we don't need much contrast at the moment because we're going to do some S curves to really bring out those mid mid tones. So it's way easier to get those colors to pop. And let's do that now. And that's going to give much richer colors into the skin tones because you also want contrast that that helps give the rich colors. So by lifting these up and doing a bit of an S curve, you're sort of adding a bit of contrast as well as color into, into the skin. So I think it's really important. And as you can see, we're putting a little less of the blues in there because we want a nice red or an orange going into the skin tones and yeah let's uh, look at this one just a bit of a fade to those blacks so they don't look too harsh and then bring down the shadows just for a bit of contrast there and then slightly bring up the highlights and now we'll work with some colors so if we come down we will work with this one gives a pretty strong orange and teal look saturation down And I'm just going to move the greens over to the warmer side. And I do this because we want those really nice, rich looking, uh, almost oranges in the trees there, in the greens. And you need to slide this one down here because you just can't get the colors if you slide the greens all the way without sliding this one so by sliding these ones you just get that extra shift because you just can't move the greens any further across so that's how you get a bit of extra colors and uh, exposure will just mess around with some of these quite often like to keep highlights down shadows to give a nice bright feeling to your image and then keep the blacks because you want a bit of contrast especially if you're doing lifting the fade up a lot and then we want a strong amount of clarity saturate everything the environments down a tad right 
Let's move on. Okay, so we'll do some brushes and I want to bring out his eyes. I want to smooth the skin a little and then just brighten him up in general. So let's grab a brush and then just brush right over him. Okay, so once you have that done, what I'll do is bring up the exposure. Um, maybe a touch of shadows. We will keep it there for now. And I went ahead and I brushed over the parts I want to be softer. So most of the skin, and I'm just going to move that. And it's going to really drop the clarity. But we don't want to drop it too much because then you lose the texture of the skin. So it's going to go about there. And then I have a brush on his eye here. So we want to bring that out a tad with some increasing of the shadows. And then we might as well add some sharpness as well to his eyes. And I'll bring out more shadows on his face. I'm going to grab a filter. And then I'm just a bit more exposure. shadows touch clarity in there touch of sharpening I think we're good um Right, we probably want to work with our colors now, so let's go to, I'll just do a touch of split toning, we probably don't need it, it'll be so subtle, but just put a nice touch of orange and teal, so put a bit of blue in the highlights, a bit of oranges in the shadows. Right, let's go to HSL. We want uh, our yellows to be nice and warm. Already shifted our greens all the way. Our blues to be a bit more teal. They're already very teal because of the slider here. Then let's work with some saturation. Let's up those oranges. Yellows. Definitely want to drop the aquas. As you can see, we've just got too much blue. Drop the blues as well. And just drop them roughly so they fit in with the other colors. And luminance, so want some rich reds. So luminance will help that. And then if we brighten the yellows, 
It's going to put a bit of a pop into the image. good there. Let's add sharpening to the entire image. What you can do, we'll bring up the masking. If you hold option and slide this, you can see where it's sharpening. For this one I might just leave it down but if you do sharpening in Photoshop you can actually brush away the sharpening it's putting in the background which is quite nice as well but I won't do that for this one otherwise I think we are about done now what we'll do actually is to save this as a preset call it Orange and teal classic. Now if we try on another image, we'll just show you how to change it. Let's go to black. And then if we just apply the preset we just made under a different lighting condition, our other one was quite dark, so we had to add in quite a bit more. So I'll just show you what I'd do to go about this. Maybe bring down the exposure down those oranges and maybe we'll do the profile corrections and you get quite a nice orange and teal looks just like that Could maybe up the shadows Quite often you want to go for the really low vibrant, very low vibrant colors if it's quite bright in direct sunlight. I'll just, it's looking a little yellow at the moment. And yeah, I'll just leave it there guys. Comment down below who you want to see. So other Instagrammers that have great images but not too many followers so they can send in the image and I can do a tutorial on them. And if you're liking these tutorials and get value out of them, check out the presets, tons of value in there. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.